two by six, 35. But then we gotta get 216 <laughs> pickets and 10 bags of cement. your neighborhood Lowe's and there's pop right there pop what are we coming to get from your um, favorite store this is dad's mall say it a little louder cuz I that it was that truck I couldn't oh, hear it to uh, get some material for the fence to build around the pool right so um, he's got a buddy coming who does like fencing and stuff and he sent him a list of everything he's supposed to get. So we're going to go get it so that we can keep our house insurance. Oh, and we got our two helpers. Say what's up, guys. What's up? They're going to help us build the No, I'm just playing. They are not going to help us build a fence. Hey, this is what I need, bro. Oh, you mean another cart? So four by four by sixes is what he's getting first. I'm very glad that the pushing of the cart has stopped because that noise was bothering me. Bentley! Why did you try to throw it down on it? That's why y'all, if y'all had been lifting weights all summer. This is why you're here. If you had been uh, working out since playing Fortnite. Hey, slide it, slide it through there. And line it up straight. That's literally all you gotta do. This, this is the little one. Yeah, you remember that time me and you came, babe, and we got some big things and I helped you lift them? Anyways, dad needs 19 of them, so. 19? Yeah. yeah. Grab that. Be here for us, that ain't it, though. We got a lot more to get. Or y'all can both carry one at a time. Y'all ain't strong enough. Hey, you ain't gonna be able to. Yeah, yeah, you ain't ready to do it that way. Yeah. Bring it down, son. You gotta keep high. I can't. It's because of the way you try. You lifted it with your back you or your whatever. He said y'all can do. Uh, y'all can both do one together. This is going to take all day. So I'm not helping. So I've been told because he doesn't want to hear about me itching. He doesn't want to hear me be worried about itching. <laughs> so, although smelling it is enough to make me start itching because it's pine. I'm pretty sure it's pine. You can start on top. Yeah. I think the guys have made themselves a system and are kind of getting the hang of it now. Show those YouTube ladies y'all's muscles, guys. <laughs> y'all, it's like at least 75 degrees here in Dothan and Bentley has on a whole jacket and hood. Like it's cold. Go from this side, 
So that's 14. The one David has is 15. That one's 16, Bentley. Y'all got three more. Y'all getting there, broski. Yeah, so talk really loudly. We got 19 of them, but we got we got to get 35 uh, two by 35. But then we got to get 216 <laughs> pickets and 10 bags of cement. I'm walking. <laughs> Buy this and load it and then get the other stuff. We can. That's fine. Once, all that's fine. No, it's fine. We can check out several times. Y'all, y'all, big man, huh? Oh. and use the lift to get the pickets. That guy helped us out right there. Wait, because he got to make sure he picked good ones. Well, you, as long as you don't get ones that split wood. So we gotta get 35 of these. All right, so now we're at our midpoint. It's uh, three rows of seven, so that's 21. We need two more rows of seven to get 35. So this fence that's required to be around the pool has so far cost us basically a thousand bucks. More than a thousand. And that's without paying for labor, which I'm sure we're gonna do that too, so. All right, so we got 35. I'm gonna go put those in the truck. Y'all done came to a stop now. Y'all gonna be able to push it? Get it going. Okay. I just wanted to tell you how amazed and how proud I am of the two of you, the way that y'all have kept mom and dad this is a job for me, and y'all are on your way becoming very good and helpful me. And I want you to know that I see it and I appreciate it. Y'all have a great evening. Pop just got all our stuff. I don't know if y'all can y'all see. That's not even half of it. Like there's a bunch of stuff behind us. Y'all see all that stuff in there? And he backs it up like a pro, y'all. If this had been me trying to back it up, we'd be in the building. Record. All right, so it wasn't working with the method we were trying, which was to leave it on the trunk. So I was like, babe, can't we just drive forward and you let the hitch go? So that's what he's doing now. He's about to drive forward with the hitch. Yep, you go. Oh, shit, the whole thing's moving. Oh. Yay, it worked! Mommy's idea worked. But the whole thing came off. That's what we wanted. Oh. Mommy's idea worked. I'm a genius. Mama's a genius. I thought I was a genius. Okay, so as you guys saw, my idea worked. Now, ah, a big bug. So don't touch it. It might come over here. Okay, so I thought it, the idea of him pulling forward. And the I, thing coming off. I thought it too, but she said it before I could get it. Nah, I said it. Because you can see how tired I am. 
Y'all. Let's see how tired I am. Y'all, he was jumping. I wish I recorded it. He was jumping on the back of his bumper. Yeah. Over and over. I thought his bumper was going to end up so on the ground. So, it weighed too much for us to lift it um, off the hitch um, due to the suspension and the weight. Mm -hmm. um, so, we couldn't lift it up. Also, uh, my trailer doesn't have a built-in jack. So, you can't yeah. jack it up. So, I got a stump. And I had said there. that, too, about the stump. Remember? I suggested that, too. She may have. <laughs> I got a stump and I put it under there and I bounced on the trailer, I mean on the bumper to try to get it unhitched. Mm -hmm. um, still too much weight. Y'all see how much stuff that is? So nobody was gonna lift that off. So we had to take the pin out of the hitch and pull out, and it slid off the back of the truck. It, it worked like a charm. And then we put the hitch back in. It worked good. I'm glad it wasn't unlevel to where it popped up and hit something or anything. So. Yeah. It worked good. So now it can sit there until his friend yep. comes and helps him do the fence. Yep. So what we did have to unload by hand, though, was 35 two by fours. Him and I did that. And then, and then 10 bags of uh, ten bags, concrete. That, those red bags over there of concrete. Yep. So as y'all can see right now, the pool does not have a fence around it. You can see that in the background. There's no fence. The next time you will see a fence around the pool. Yes. Yes. So we're going to do that September 29th. So we yes. have 10 days. Mm -hmm. 10 days. Mm -hmm. So what's up, YouTube? Uh, my brother Quincy came down uh, to help me out with this fence. Um, as you can see, we already started. We uh, already got the 4x4 posts in the in the dirt, cemented in. We got the uh, we got the uh, support for the pickets all the way around the 2x4s. Um, my boy back there in the back. Um, we just got to uh, right here. We got to, um, there's a gap. We're gonna add a gate. So we gotta go back and buy another four by four post um, to put a gate here. And then over there, the gap you see right there, we got to add uh, a post right there as well. I'm sorry if uh, y'all couldn't hear right then. I had a call. Um, have to add a double gate right there um, for the entrance. Insurance wise, you gotta have two gates. So that's what we're doing. I'm sorry if I didn't get it in there at the beginning. Um, we was busy trying to knock this out. He, my boy drove from Atlanta four hours to get here. He's from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So, um, and he was doing a job in Atlanta. So he did me a huge favor by driving down here. Um, we started at eight this morning. It is now like maybe close to lunchtime. So we've got a lot done in a short amount of time and uh, it shouldn't take us much longer. Um, I wanted the pickets to be butted up against each other, no space in between, um, but that would require us to have 120 more pickets, which is if it's $2 a picket, 240 bucks. Um, I ain't got the money to spend on that right now. so. We're going to put like an inch and a half gap between it, um, which will be fine. Um, but yeah, everything's going good. My brother's helping me out and uh, I owe him one. Uh, I'll show you the final product later. Now David's getting a lesson in doing the fence, y'all see. put up the first door. I guess show them that it can swing. Y'all know how Daniel and I, we love to have our differences of opinion, probably on every work project that we had. Started with the boys room. He was gonna put this up a little bit higher. And then I was like, it shouldn't be higher. And then he came up with a solution. So, we met in the middle instead of it being four inches higher. And I think it looks decent. Yeah, the next two will be better. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, uh, 
we finally finished the fence. Um, I had my brother Quincy come down. I'll show you his, some pictures in the video. i uh, show you his company and the number to it. He's in the southeast region from North Carolina and surrounding areas. Um, he helped me get all the posts in. We set them with concrete. Um, and we got all the two by fours for all the pigs, pickets to go on. And then we got this side done and my brother had to leave. He had some business he had to take care of. So I pretty much did all this around here. My brother came, he helped me do that side a little bit, a little bit of this side, um, cause it's kind of difficult with one person. And also it takes forever uh, doing it by yourself. So after work, um, since I got a job now, I started working. Uh, I don't have much time to finish it in one day. Um, Mama came out here. Uh, they helped us and the kids pick up all the scrap wood. Yeah. You can't see it, but it's a whole trailer full over there by the burn pit. Yeah, and uh, there's and there's nails. And we got a double gate right here. Open it, go inside it. Double gate. This opens up like this. Still, obviously, got to move the scrap wood here. I think you need to put a latch right here to hook to this so that yep. way it can hold. Yep, I thought about that. We put a latch right here so if we open it, guys, it, it closes it in. Also, I I didn't think about it on that side. I did think about putting a post there or maybe a short fence or doing that, but I did think about it on this side. If we decide to close in the back porch, I can have a post here with a latch so when this closes, it locks it in and we could finish fencing in that area. That way, if we want to let Zeus out the back door, he has a whole lot of area he can play and not get out. Because if I put him inside the fence in the pool, he can't get out. Hey, hey guys. Stop playing with the water hose. We're trying to fill the pool back up. Um, Mom came out here and she sweeped off all the concrete, got all the sawdust off and stuff. So it's nice and clean. We're uh, filling up the pool. Luckily, uh, I thought we was going to get a lot of sawdust in the pool, but we didn't. None, actually. And then we got this gate over here. Uh, insurance purposes, you got to have two gates. So we got two. Oh, and now you can see the wood. Um, that's all the scrap we had. So a lot of firewood. But other than that, man, that's the video. Daniel said that if anybody wants the wood, that y'all can come get it. Yeah, we're, we're just going to burn it. It's treated wood. Um, they're probably about two foot pieces. He said it'd be good for chicken coops. Yeah, like if you want to do it on a chicken coop or, or whatever. Um, Get off that pole. That's how yeah. it breaks. But yeah, that's it, guys. So what do you want to tell the people? Um, don't be afraid to do something by yourself. Uh, you never learn if you don't take a chance. Uh, Plus, it's cheaper doing it that way. Yeah, like I, me. I yep. had to do something new. Mommy, oh, yeah. drive through that crack at the over end there. of the video. Yeah. So, drive to a new and, crack now. Um, anyway, guys, what are we supposed to say? Like, Make sure to like subscribe, and hit, hit that, that notification, notification bell. bell. Right, Make sure guys. you show your friends, too. <laughs> See you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until then, we're raising nine. See you next time.